The four meter band has always been popular in the United Kingdom. We take a look at some budget class antennas, which may encourage you to join the band of four meter operators. Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. I'm back now from my adventures in uh, the Highlands of Scotland. A long drive back, but anyway, safely back. And I'm in my uh, uh, little motorhome at the moment, which uh, reminds me really that this is a great time now to get out and about and do some portable operation. Of course, you don't need a motorhome. You can do it from a car or whatever, or you put a rucksack on your back and uh, go for a walk. But this is a news item actually, and we have for a number of years now been the sole distributors of the Joule antennas, a range of VHF and UHF antennas, although they do do some HF um, antennas, but rather large ones. We tend to, main t we tend to major on the uh, VHF, UHF antennas. And the time of the year now is sporadic E time. In fact, it's, we're well into the sporadic E uh, period now, which is why I'm doing this as a news item. We've just taken delivery of some interesting four meter Yagis from Joule Antennas. Now, Joule Antennas um, make some really nice uh, Yagis. They're well built, the instructions are well laid out, and they're so easy to go together, and they are competitively priced. And the two antennas I want to bring to your notice now is the two element four meter Yagi and the three element four meter Yagi. The first antenna we're going to look at is the two element Yagi. I've also got a shot here of the driven element with the ballon. The longest element is 2.2 meters, boom length is 0.8 of a meter, the forward gain is 6.8 dBi and the front to back ratio is 11 dB. This is a very practical antenna for those that have got uh, only a small garden or that are not looking for high performance, just want to uh, have general uh, contacts and a bit of sporadic E as and when it pops up. Now let's take a look at the three element Yagi. I've got a close up here of the driven element and the main difference with this antenna is actually not the forward gain but the front to back ratio. The forward gain is just slightly higher than the two element version but the front to back ratio is up to 20 dB which is significantly better and of course the boom length is a little bit longer but no, not, a, not a lot longer, it's only one metre long so it's still a compact antenna, one metre boom, 2.2 uh, meter longest element, 20 dB front to back ratio and forward gain just shy of 7 dB. Finally let's look at a vertical antenna. This is the Sirio three quarter wave vertical for four meters. It's a height of approximately three meters. I say that because you can actually tune the antenna. It gives you 2 dB of gain over a dipole. The great thing about this is it's omnidirectional, so it means to say that it's great for local FM contacts, but it also works very, very well for sporadic E. We've tried it uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks and we've found that uh, for a sporadic E it works extremely well, sometimes just as good as a three element Yagi. So, um, it's quite a good investment this one, not expensive either. So that's the Sirio Vertical. These antennas are going to be the answer to a lot of people who've got uh, transceivers like the, uh, the Yaesu FTDX10 or the 101 which has got 70 megs on it and of course the famous ICOM IC7300 which also has got 70 megs, 4 meters on it. And you may not have tried four meters before because you just haven't got the antenna for it. Well, these two Yagis are compact, very lightweight, very easy to install, 
and really and truly they could be hand rotated quite easily. The big thing about dual antennas is the performance is guaranteed, the construction is superb and the price is very competitive. So I would uh, encourage you perhaps to take a look at these because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have got rigs that have got four meters on but have never used the band. Well, apart from sporadic E, there is quite a lot of activity on four meters and uh, this may well be a way of exploring that band when the HF bands perhaps are not as uh, you'd hope for. And of course with sporadic E, you can cover some good distances on four meters. You can get into Europe quite easily. The problem with sporadic E, of course, is you never know when it's coming. It's, it's like, well, like serendipity. You sort of switch the radio on, listen to the band and see what it's about. Of course, if you subscribe or you keep in touch with one of the forums, that will give you a, a, a warning of sporadic E activity. Either way, take a look at these two Yagis, which I say we've got, we haven't got a lot in stock, but we have got them in stock at the moment. They are very well priced, great performers. May get you on four meters, a band which perhaps you haven't yet tried. So, a short news item, but as usual, enjoy your ham radio, take care, press the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon. <music>